welcome to this video on some of the new features of version 17 of Fusion. The, the first thing that you will see is that when you do the installation, when you do the upgrade, you'll get this little form that says Fusion New Features Guide. And if you, if you go into it, it will give you the option of looking at the version 17 and version 16 features. So if you, if you go into the version 17 features, these are the, the ones that you'll be able to see and the ones that the new features are, are there. So you can click on, on all of them and go down and, and look. But I'll just show you very quickly as well on some of the, the, the new features. For instance, if you go over a unit, you'll see the code will, will pop up as it's, it comes up um, next to the, the picture. Another nice feature is that under File, if you go to print preview, you've also got the, you can preview your, your worktops, uh, whereas before you had to do layers, you can just use your uh, print preview just to, to look at the worktop so that you can send it to your suppliers. Another nice feature is, is if you right click on a, in a unit and you go to change color, let's say of this bowl, I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to go to, double click on there. And here you can change the, the colors from any catalog. So if you're wanting to, to choose not advanced graphics, but let's say a wooden color from, from the Fusion QM catalog, you can do that. And then you can, you can look at all the, the colors there. So these are all from the, the Fusion QM catalog. Now. So you can change colors from any catalog you like um, to, yeah, to, to any any catalog color. So let's go to ebony and just make it some lighter. There we go. Press OK. So you've chosen now from an advanced graphics catalog to a Fusion QM catalog color. And there we go. And you can see the, the color has changed from um, of the ball, the base of the ball, to the Fusion QM catalog uh, color. What's nice about this is before you couldn't interchange the, the colors, but now you, you can. So your plinths, you can make it, you can tile your plinths the same color as your floors and and so forth. So let's have a look at that and see what, what we can we can do. And there we go. You can see it's rendering. Now we've changed the, the plinth colors all to the, the floor colors, which was the, the plinths are from the Fusion QM catalog, but we've changed the color of it to the advanced graphics floor color. And you can see that it makes a, a big difference. You can do a whole lot of lot of changes, inter color changes between between catalogs. Now there's a another new feature, or another nice feature that's there is under call and auto features. Auto features looks slightly different now. You'll notice it's it's put it into into groups, so that you've got your cornices, your plinths, your worktops, your helmets, your side panels. And what's nice about this is that if you if you click on graphical list mode, you now can see the different cornices, the different helmets, um, plinths, and worktops. Now this is this is great stuff because to be quite honest, you couldn't you couldn't see it in the previous versions because you didn't know what their codes were unless you went into the actual the catalog list on the left and looked for it. But now you can actually go down and see what the different moldings are and the different profiles. So this is a, a really nice nice feature that we've that's been included into the, the new Fusion version 17. The next one that we've added in is the at the top we've got this open movie creation pal palette. This allows you to, to actually create a movie in Fusion. So you can walk around the, the room and send your, your customers a a walkthrough video. It does take a, a little time, but it, it all depends on the on the speed of your of your PC. Let me let me show you what it what it does specifically for this this one here. What you would do is you would right click, you would save viewpoints, and then you would create a create a movie. Let's see what what it looks like. Okay, here's the the movie creation that we've made for this one, and this is it's not very big, so that you can email it to to clients. They can actually view this video and in quick time and you can see the, the nice design that you've, you've created.
created here. Now this is all found and you can save it anywhere on your PC and attach it anywhere you like. So that's that's what the, the movie creation is is all about. And that's this new button at the top. We call it the movie creation palette. Again, there's also another one that you, you can use. It's this one here. Now this one we've created in South Africa for our South African client. What it does is it opens up Team Viewer. So once you've, the installation will, will install Team Viewer, but once you've clicked on this little button, it will open up Team Viewer for you so that you can call us if you're having problems. And all you would have to do is give us the, the ID and we will c go onto your PC and help you with any problem that you, you're having on a design. So that's what this, this new button is here. That's the remote support. It's very handy, very quick and easy to, to get help and assistance. Just give us a call on your PC and use these numbers where, where you are closest. Another really nice feature that's, that's been enabled is if you're in your plan view and your elevation view, if you go, click on your eyeball and you go to display unit lists, it allows you to put in almost like your item list on the left hand side of your, your page. Let me show you in, in your print preview what it's what it does. You click print print preview standard and there we go. You can see the, the actual design in your in your plan and then on the right hand side you've got the the different units that are, are there. And now obviously you can set this up under your user preferences. I'm not gonna go through that now but there will be videos and there will be tutorials under that features. Uh, guides. Let's close this and go back to our, our plan view and you can see some of the features from version, version uh, 17. Another nice thing that you can do is in version 17 if you if you right, uh, right click on a, on a wall and you can go to change wall type and you can choose let's say a single hatch change the what it looks like so you can see what the walls look uh, look like. So there's there's the one you can right click and you can go and change walls. Let's go to double hatch and for the last wall we'll do uh, our last option. So you've got you've got different variety of things that you can choose a wall. So let's go right click change wall type so you can you can actually see your walls better. You can see uh, the different your your plan a whole lot a whole lot easier. So there's the the, the three different views that you can get on your wall. You can choose either one of those, or either either one of one of those three, or even four with the blank one as well, to to choose from your plan. In version 17, you can also customize your uh, your shortcut keys. If you go to edit user preferences, and you'll notice here you've got keyboard shortcuts. You can go down and you can put in any one that you like. You see here is new new shortcuts key. So if you go down this list, you can create whole new uh, shortcuts for yourself. Just to make it easier. At the moment, they've got their own default ones. But if you prefer your your own shortcuts, you you are able to. And these are some of the, the new features of Fusion. There are other Connect short uh, features as well. And you can have a look at these all in the, in the guide that will be put on your, your desktop. It's called Fusion New Features Guide. And you can go and have a look at those and see all the different, the new different ones there. It will show you like advanced filters it will show you things that I haven't shown you here, but it will also show you the, the features that, that I have shown you and, and how to, to use them. I hope you enjoy the new version 17. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks so much.